Hey everyone, my name is Marco and welcome once again to the world of My Color Screen, the place where you can learn everything there is to know about customizing your Android home screen. In today's video, I'll be going through a lock screen tutorial, as like I said, we always read through our viewer comments and you guys wanted more lock screen tutorials. So, let's roll on today's video. Booyah! Great, so like I said in today's video, I'll be covering through a lock screen tutorial. So just to show you what this lock screen is, let me just unlock my, unlock, unlock my phone. There it is, it's called Smart UI by the very popular lock screen artist MK Mathers. And let's have a closer look at this lock screen, shall we, starting at the top. As you can see, it's got your little user icon there that you can change to whatever you want. It's got your time and date, and it's got some useful notifications below that. It's got your inbox there, it's got your missed calls, your text messages, as well as how much battery you've got left all along the side here. Finally, you've got your brilliant little unlock button here that if we select it, will just unlock your phone just like that. Quick and simple lock screen, very simple to set up. So if you'd like that lock screen onto your Android phone, let us begin with today's video tutorial. Great, so before you begin, just letting you know what apps that you'll be needing before you do the setup. The first things off, you'll definitely be needing Widget Locker. It is a paid app. However, it's probably one of the best lock screen apps that you'll ever find. So I do highly recommend it. Next up, it's free. Pretty much everyone's heard of it. We've got video tutorials. If you have no idea how to use it, it is UCCW. So definitely want to have those two. And then optional, you're always welcome to go for the ES File Explorer, which is over there. Just to help you out if you want to copy and paste files on your phone, you're welcome to do it using your computer, but that's just a lot easier. I've just opened up my ES File Explorer and as you can see I've copied all the necessary files needed for this setup onto my phone. So make sure that you've got all of these files that will be your use zips. Remember don't try and extract them or unzip them, just leave them alone. As well as the wallpaper and the unlock button. I've included some few things just to make your life a bit easier, but we'll come to that later on. So let us begin with setting up Widget Locker. Great, so first things first, we're just going to be opening up Widget Locker just by selecting it from your app drawer. And as you can see, if you have any uh, widgets or apps on Widget Locker, just remember to hold down on them and select Remove. Or you can just simply drag them into the bin. As you can see, I've already done all of that, just so you can have a blank screen ready for setup. Once you have a completely blank screen, you want to select that top right hand icon there, that little white one at the top there. This will bring you up into your widget locker menu. From here, you want to make sure that widget locker is enabled, obviously, because then it will not work. And then from here, you want to jump into your look and feel. From here, you want to select alternative wallpaper because obviously you don't want to have the same wallpaper as you did for your home screen. And you want to now say select wallpaper. From here, you want to jump into your or your preferred gallery app. I'm just going to be using QuickPick for now. So it's going to bring up all my different folders here and I'm going to be selecting the one that's called Smart UI. As you can see, it's going to have your unlock button as well as your wallpaper. Now I've just selected the wallpaper here and I'm just going to be dragging it out to the edges. I've just made it touch the top as that just made it work out a lot better. So I'm just going to select save now and there it is. It should be set. Remember you can always just adjust it if you want. From here, I'm going to jump into layout whereby I've dragged the, the anchor down like that and I've selected or deselected rather automatically determined grid size just so that you can put in your own grid size where whatever it may be. Now I've found that a 6x4 seems to work well for me but if you're looking to get in a, just a better fit or one that resembles more of the lock screen itself is to just to bump it up a bit maybe even like a 12x12 12 12 may work better for you depending on what phone you have but for my Nexus 4 a 6x4 seems to work out very well. So remember just to select save there. I'm just going to scroll down. You want to make sure that hide notification bar is enabled. That's that one at the top there. Just because you don't want to have that thing there. You just want to have a nice clean lock screen. So from here, we're just going to select back now. We're going to now go into our advanced settings. As if we scroll down, we want to make sure that widget overlap, widget overlap, sorry, is enabled. Otherwise, you won't be able to overlap them all. And there's quite a few that you might need to overlap. Next thing you want to do is, because a lot of people complain about this, that if you select the menu button, that uh, widget locker just unlocks straight away. So you want to jump right into your home helper and make sure that these are enabled. It's your home helper component, your home helper block home, and finally your block home in other apps. So then when you tap the menu button, it'll just bring you up into your stock lock screen, which is the next best thing. So going to select back out of it and there is your widget locker settings done. You should have a good looking wallpaper there with a bit of a risque image there of that lady. So from here we're going to be jumping into our UCCW skins. 
Great, so we're going to start off at the top with our UCCW skins. Obviously, if you don't want to have this lady over here as your lock screen, you just want to have any other image that you want, I'm going to show you quickly how to do that using two apps, UCCW and Photo Editor. Now, Photo Editor is another app, I don't know if I forgot to say it in the beginning, but that's only if you want to have your own custom logo there. Now, all you'd have to do is to open up Photo Editor. It's free and it works very, very well. As you can see, all you'd have to do now is say select... Um, you can go into your gallery now and choose whatever gallery photo that you would want. You just make sure that it's not too small, otherwise it's going to just look a bit funky dunky. From here now you can just select whatever, like I said, whatever photo that you want. So I got this little Gandalf pike here. So from here you want to scroll across. Remember I'm doing this in order to get that image circular to so that it's not square and it just looks a lot better. From here I'm just going to select the crop free option here. And next we're just going to make that into a circular shape. Like this, make sure that the circle there is selected and I'm just going to bring that over my little pug like that. And make sure that it looks more or less in a circular shape. I think that looks pretty good. So all I'm going to do now is now select the little tick there. Select the save button. You're welcome to overwrite it. But I'm just going to select it as a, save it as a PNG. Now selecting save as. Whereby you can create your own custom path or just save it whatever you want it to be. And then it'll just save it onto your phone like that. Great, once you've done that, that means now as you can see that will be what your icon will look like. So if you use any photos, it's great because now you have a circular image, plain, simple and of course it's free. So now you've got a little circular image like that. Now we can jump back into our widget locker settings. Great, so now I'm just going to be starting to import these UCCW skins. You simply have to hold down on the lock screen, select widgets and scroll all the way down to UCCW like that. From here you can choose, I'm going to start off with that uh, user icon at the top there. So I'm just going to go for a 2x2, two two, but as always it doesn't matter at all what size you choose, as you can always just resize them. From here I'm going to be selecting the user up now, and what I'm going to be doing is providing a second link that's the, provide you with that smart UI user dot user. And what that actually is, it's just my little pug right here, if I select the hand, just to import it, there it is like that. So now all you'd have to do now is bring it up, go into your edit objects, Go into your image one, which will now allow you to change that image, of course. And now you can select your image like here. From here, you can choose whatever um, image that you would want. So you can choose wherever it is. It'll then apply it onto the screen right here. And you can then obviously just change the scale to make it bigger or smaller, as well as the position, just to make it so that it looks pretty good like that. So all I have to do now is select back, back again, go all the way out of it, close the app. And all I'm going to do now is hold down on it, select resize, just so that I can make it fit over that lady. I think that looks a lot better. And there we have it, just so if there's any ladies out there that don't have to have a lady, they can have whatever else that they would want. So there we have our user icon done. Next we're going to be adding in the other UCCW skins. They're pretty a lot, a lot easier to add. So I'm just going to be selecting, holding down on the lock screen, selecting widgets. Scrolling down to UCCW as always. And depending on whatever size you want, like I said, doesn't really matter at all. This always makes me feel a bit better to go for one a little bit closer to the, the actual size. So I'm going to go into use up again. I'm now going to be selecting the smart UI unlock. It's basically just text that says unlock and that's for the bottom unlock button. For some reason the one that came with the, the screen, it came it bundled with the icon and it didn't really work too well for me. So I kind of decided to crop the unlock icon and then just create my own little icon text like that. So whatever works better for you guys. See which one works for you. If not, then just stick with this user like I've done right here. And I'm just going to add in these two that came with that user that you've copied onto your phone. So this will be your smart UI notifications. Sorry, three rather. This will be your smart UI number of notifications, smart UI notifications, and then finally your smart UI time and date. So I'm just going to add those in quickly as there's not really much to it. But I'll get to that smart UI number of notifications at the end. You also might come to the stage where uh, Widget Locker will say this, that there's not enough room and please specify the correct size for the widget. So you can, as you can see, if I scroll it up to like that, it doesn't like how many columns I have. So I'm just going to stick with one column for now. As you can see, if I just select it now, it has now appeared. But I've kind of run out of room. And in order to get around that, save my unlock button here, I can just hold down on it, select resize, make it a lot more teeny tiny add in my other widgets and then just resize it back. It's quite simple. It's not really much hassle to do there. As you can see, 
because you have that overlapping action enabled, that'll always enable you just to overlap them wherever you are. So I can just hold down on this and get it back to where it was just like that. Great, so they have added in all the different UCCW skins. As I noted earlier with these UCCW number of notifications here, it might be slightly off for you. It was slightly off for me. So a quick workaround is just to bring up your options like this. Select your add remove objects. Select your edit objects like this. Somebody to choose which one you want to move around. Say if I wanted to move my Gmail, select it and then select your position where you can get it into the right position. I think I just had to move it down a little bit. Also take note you want to be changing your account. So all you'd have to do now is select your account to choose your preferred Gmail account. And then finally to choose the, the label. I always like to go for priority inbox as that always seems to work out well. Now once you've configured all your different UCCW skins, there's two ways of blocking them from opening up anything that you would want. The first way is to go into your menu at the top or at the bottom, go into your lock widgets and then select on. As you don't want to be opening up anything because your phone will be locked, so you don't want to be air styling. So that is an easy way of setting it up. Another way is probably a little bit easier is to hold down on each one of them and say select block clicks. And now nothing will happen, of course, because it's been blocked and the hotspots mode's on. So whatever your preference is, whatever is easier for you, you can set it up like that. Once that's done, we're now going to be moving on to the final step, which is that little custom unlock button at the bottom. Alrighty, folks, so we're almost there. We just need to add an unlock button at the bottom there. So we just need to hold down on the lock screen and now select custom slider. We're going to be sticking with the stock one for now. But all you'd have to do is select the one on the left, this little green unlock button, swipe it to the right and select disabled, boom, it's gone. We're going to be doing the same thing for the little uh, sound button here on the right, swipe it to the left and select disabled, boom, that's gone as well. Finally, we're just going to select this middle area here, this one with the little dimple. From here, we're going to be selecting our widget locker actions as our action we wanted to unlock once it's been selected. But we don't want this bright green unlock button, we want that minimal red one. So I'm just going to be selecting my icon here and going into my gallery. From here you can choose your preferred gallery app. Now what I actually did was go into my photo editor and just edit the unlock button. And it comes with the unlock button like this. But the original one was a bit too long and I just couldn't get it to be resized correctly. It, it always made it look a little bit to the left. Uh, I, I didn't really enjoy it. So I just edited this one on my own. And as you can see, I just want to be selecting this unlock button like this. So I'm just going to be changing this little grid here, the cropping area, just so that's directly in the middle. Make sure that you have none of that unlock button there as we've already just added it in and select the little tick. Now that it's been added, the icon has been changed, we can now select done and there we have it. It's a little bit too tiny right now. But now however, if we just hold down on it, remember don't select remove, that'll be very bad. We just want to select resize. Now we're allowed to resize it like this. Just resize it so it's a little bit smaller. You're also welcome to change that how it's been cropped. So if you wanted to get a bit lower, you can. But there we have it. Make sure that it's on top of your all of your skins just to double check you can just hold down on it make sure it doesn't go in the bin and select bring to front now you can definitely make sure that it's in front of everything now you can just double check that it works and you can just select the button and boom there it's unlocked your phone and that is pretty much that lock screen complete we can just double check that it works by clock locking the phone unlocking it again we can now see that everything's shown up it's got all your brilliant time, your date there, your notifications, your little user icon that's really cute and adorable, as well as that unlock button that when selected, unlocks your phone. Thank you very much guys for watching this lock screen video. If you enjoyed it, please give us a thumbs up as well as please subscribe to the My Color Screen channel if you haven't already, as we always enjoy helping you guys out. Also don't forget to check out our Facebook, Google+, Twitter communities, Instagram communities, and you can even follow me at MarcoGHB if you're getting really stuck with certain things. So. Thank you very much guys for watching, Marco here from My Color Screen, and as always, don't stop customizing.